Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, have now stepped up to senior royal duties in support of the Queen. When they make appearances, such as at the Queen's birthday parade yesterday, it is a matter of course they enjoy the highest level of protection from their security officers. However, when an uninvited guest infiltrated the Duke of Cambridge's high-profile 21st birthday party in 2003, no one realized until the prince accosted him, royal experts have revealed Channel 5 documentary Royal Scandals, which first aired in April, heard from royal experts on the embarrassing royal security breach. Royal biographer Katie Nichols said, It's impossible to believe that an imposter can get into Windsor Castle, particularly something as high-profile as Prince William's 21st birthday party, yet that's what happened. Self-styled comedy terrorist Aaron Barshik was caught on news footage parading around Windsor dressed as Osama bin Laden wearing a bow gown, and making his way to the royal party, which had an out-of-Africa theme. Miss Nicol added, you can see from the footage, Barshik walking up Castle Gate, up to the castle all dressed up as a comedy terrorist, with a big black beard and his robes. Royal expert Daisy McAndrew continued, of course, trying to monitor who's meant to be there and who's not meant to be there, when everybody is dressed in ridiculous outfits, does make it harder for the security services. However, the comedian was dressed in a pink dress and a fake beard, so he clearly didn't fit with the theme. He should have set security alarm bells going much earlier than he did. Miss Nickel continued, he managed to get past the police security and into the castle, which by the way is a pretty big place. Straight into the party, that was a huge security breach. Barshik's antics didn't end there, however, as he made his way to the stage, where Prince William was giving a speech, and planted a kiss on the prince's cheek. Miss McAndrew said, he certainly shouldn't have been allowed to get anywhere near, let alone kissing distance of William. Miss Nickel continued, no one realized anything was wrong until Prince William looked at him and said, who the hell are you? Security breaches don't get any bigger than that. It was a huge royal scandal, suddenly all of the attention was off the birthday and what was essentially a massive security threat. Every senior member of the royal family was in attendance. Had that been a real-life terrorist, we'd be talking about a very different story today. Katie Nichol, in her 2010 book William and Harry, also reveals how Kate Middleton attended the Windsor birthday bash, but another woman took pride of place next to William. Both William and Kate turned 21 in 2003 and separately held parties to celebrate that summer. Miss Nichol writes, when William attended Kate's belated 21st birthday party in June 2003 at her family home in Buckleberry, Berkshire, the glance she threw him across the room when he walked into the 1920s theme party was beyond platonic. However, things did not look so romantic at William's birthday bash. Miss Nichol writes, he seemed very preoccupied with a pretty girl called Jekka Craig. Jekka is the daughter of British conservationist Ian Craig and his wife Jane. She first met the Duke of Cambridge in 1998 while on holiday in Kenya. Miss Nicol adds, William had apparently had a secret crush on Jekka since the first time he met her. She was beautiful, with long blonde hair, deep blue eyes and legs like a gazelle. As Kate raised her champagne flute to toast the birthday prince at the aptly themed Out of Africa celebration at Windsor Castle, it was Jekka who had pride of place next to William at the head table. The lavish celebration saw Windsor Castle transformed into a jungle, decorated with elephant and giraffe models and tribal masks. Royal author Marsha Moody wrote how the Queen joined in the party's theme, coming dressed as the Queen of Swaziland in a glittering white gown and African headdress.